Silent alarm activated! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Thursday, which means it is time for another Nas Watch is Made in Abyss. Oh, boy. So in the last episode, uh, we left all of the people on the surface behind, and we're never going to see them again. And now Rico and Reg are just heading down into the abyss, where they shall never return, because if they try to, after a certain point, they'll just outright die. Man, I sure hope you like being a mole poison, girly, because oh boy, you ain't coming back. Not really a choice that an eight-year-old should probably make, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. But, yeah. So, uh... Um, I'm, I'm wondering just what exactly they're gonna get to, but I mean, I imagine the first few la layers of the Abyss are not gonna be all that dangerous. So who knows, maybe they'll even just time skip past them, who knows. But let's get going, shall we? In three, two, one... And go. Don't get shanked on your way home. We are in the projects. It turns out that layer of the abyss, no one was using it because it's filled with horrible monsters. They died five seconds after leaving. And also a lot of vomit. Sure is a lot of water imagery. <laughs> in this opening for them going down a hole in the earth. <sighs> yeah, like... Like, why, why spend so much time focusing on the, on the above ground? Like... Like, the way they do it, you would think it's like, oh yeah, this whole group is going down. But no, it's Rico and Reg. Everyone else stays behind. Like, shit, dude. Like, like it's alright for a world-building perspective, but it's for a world we don't really care about. It's like in the first draft of A New Hope, where, like, it spent, like, an hour and a half on Tatooine, because the movie was, like, four hours long. And eventually editors came in and was like, Hey, George, uh, this planet is, like, never seen again. Cut all this shit out. We don't need to know about Big's Darklighter because he shows up later and everything is in that scene. It's fine. Cut that shit. Uh, I think you're a little bit past the edge of the abyss right now, dog. I think you might actually just be actually in it. I don't know. <laughs> no one can just deflect the emerald splash! My man set up... A Hierophant Barrier. Instant Kill Mode Activate! It's understandable. It's... it's his hydrogen core. Ha! 
He's horribly radioactive. My girl's gonna get brain cancer. My man's got a depth gauge in there somewhere? God. God. Where's all this sunlight coming down? You'd think, like, the sun would have a hard time coming down unless it was directly above. Unless they really did just sleep in till noon. How does that work? <sighs> the force field? What is the force field? Why waste all that world building on the stupid dumbass city we don't care about when there's a frigging force field? It's a goddamn force field and I've heard nothing about it so far. Did they bring any food? Did they bring any food whatsoever? The answer appears to be no. Cause a good thing he's waterproof. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, delicious seaweed. You best enjoy that miso while it lasts. Cause that ain't coming back. Like, so she brought ingredients and spices, but no actual food. <laughs> what the f- How does... So it's not magnetic. It's... It's not magnetic. It, it's not weighted. Oh, God. That seems like the least useful thing I've ever frigging heard. Just, just keep going down, idiot. So, ba so she was, so she was destined to wind up back down here. Then, is that what she's getting at? It's sort of the leader. Hey, Rico, if you go down in the abyss, make sure you don't go below 600, because you will die. Damn, so the... The leader straight up... Okay, she's gonna go down. She's gonna die. I might as well give her what she needs.
<laughs> what a wonderful orphanage leader. Well, I'm not going to be able to stop this child from running off to her death. I might as well give her the tools to survive for as long as she can. My man says, like, you get a head start. You get, you get four hours head start. Use it well. <laughs> the big twist is, layer, leader is secretly a, th a, a white whistle. He can come and go from the very bottom as he pleases. God, the leader's just gonna catch them at the very edge of the second level, and they're just gonna make a jump. Mmm, I don't like that. I don't like- please use gun, Reg. Reg, please. Can't leave their territory or won't. That's the real... Qu oh, that's gross. For a second there, I thought it was going to be a snare trap that the leader set up. Just wraps around your leg, just... Whoosh. Yeah, you always gotta make sure your girl's ready before you go deeper than she's used to. I, I do wonder if there's, like, any actual sapient life hanging out, like, down here. I mean, there's ruins of, like, civilizations and stuff, apparently, so... Gotta be something left, right? The Forest of Temptation. I can see why. It looks like a big butthole. <laughs> Like, why does the tree just make a big butthole? <laughs> oh no, she's sleepy. Why does he need to pee? Who built a robot with the need to urinate? Your final lesson will be going on a suicide dive. Have fun. Beep boop, instant kill mode, activate. My man's- my man's got telescoping eyes.
Wait, that flat hat. We have we have have we seen anyone with a flat hat before? Is that anyone we would know? <laughs> oh, is that the uncle? <laughs> hey, uncle. To get to the next layer, you must kill me in combat. God, just, ah, uh, uh, I didn't need to see you fondling the boy's nipples. God, boundaries, Jesus. My name's Chris Hansen with MSNBC. I'm here to encourage your suicide. Goddamn snitches. Couldn't have brought them any supplies or anything? You know, like, give them, like, you know, some, like, food or something that's not gonna... Damn, all, going all that way. Going all that way with someone who's been there a hundred times. Shit. Re- Oh my god, you stupid idiot. You stupid idiot. Hey, it did bring her some fun. Some food, even. There's a... There's a diving illness. She was gonna go all the way to the bottom, and there is an illness that requires a vaccine. And he just lives down here then, okay. She's gone crazy, she's got the whole madness.
God, imagine if, like, when they localized this show, they, they turned the Curse of the Abyss into whole madness. Rip in peace, children. Rip in peace. My man's about to lose the last family he got. Ripperoni and pepperoni. Like, what was her plan? What was her plan? Like, she's just gonna go down there, she's gonna catch this illness and just die. Like, holy shit, dog. Two kids gone die tonight. <laughs> uh, so he gave her the vaccine. I sure hope I sure hope he gave her a needle to take it with too. Ooh. It's not like they spin no more though, so I mean Not really lasted if they don't fit, if they aren't fit for purpose. Welcome to the edge of the butthole. Yeah, we, we've already been here, we're already talking about the second layer. A blow dart just lands right next to them. <sighs> Stop right there, you little shit! <sighs> Instead, you have to w worry about the murder chickens that apparently don't have outlines. It's not that you escape Pursuel, it's that they're writing you off as dead because it might as well be down this low. Ugh. Oh, boy. All right. The upside-down buildings are a hell of a thing. I... All right. So, yeah, so that's episode... Uh, what was it? Episode 4? Honestly, I'm, I'm glad we actually managed to get down into the abyss by the fourth episode. But the issue is, is that the majority of people... <laughs> Like, the majority of people do a three-episode test. Like, I feel like, I think I'm, like, one of the few people, few people that only, that extended that to four. Like, majority of people I know will stop after the second episode if it doesn't catch their attention, with the majority stopping after three. I feel like this show would really benefit from, from filing down the, the third episode at the very least. And we could have got a little bit of this in in there. Uh, I mean, like I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm enjoying it, but like honestly, like the I'm, most of the thing that's got me in right now is a they moved down on their little their little speech bubbles. 
the incinerator. Ooh. Like, the main thing that's got me in on this show, and in enough that I'm going to keep going, is this episode. Like, like the first three episodes, it's like, okay, we got this city above a hole in the ground, and we're spending so much time learning about the people in the city instead of about the hole. We, in fact, we've only been in the hole maybe twice, and the first one was for about five minutes in the first episode, and the second time was about for two minutes in the second. Uh this is gonna be a grim car, isn't it? Like, that's basically what I was feeling the whole time. And, like, even when it got to the point where it's like, we gotta go to the underworld to find my mom! Like, my biggest fear was that this would be a going down, going up, and, like, working... Like, instead of her just going, like, and just sending it, it would be, like, her ranking up so she can go to lower and lower amounts. Because, I mean, that's basically what Grimgar was. It's like, oh, hey, we're stuck in this dumb shit starter city. Oh, no. We're going to go fight goblins. All right, all we can do is fight in the outer ring. Okay, let's go fight in the inner ring because we're higher level. Oh, no, we died. Back to the outer ring we go. Finally beat the inner ring. Now it's time for a cave with a different monster in it. And it just, like, you, you lose sight of their, of their end goal. In fact, I don't even think they had an end goal in Grimgar, but... Here, there was an end goal, and, and I, I was really, really afraid that, the, that they would lose sight of it, and it would become, let's become a white whistle so I can go down. In, but, like, thankfully, they did the thing of, okay, let's just send it. And, but I, it, I still feel like they took way too long getting here. <laughs> they, took, they took way too goddamn long getting here. I, like, like, I know it's only episode four, but, like, I'm pretty sure this... Hang on, I should, before I say something stupid, yes, they only have 13 episodes. So, you got 13 episodes to make this work. And you, and you wasted, and you wasted at least one. <sighs> and you got an entire abyss to go down. Or at least get as far down as you can. Like, assuming this... I don't know if this is going to have a second season or what. I don't know. Like, I, I, until I know otherwise, I'm going to assume that they're going to get as much of the story as they can in... In one. But, um... But, yeah. Apparently, according to some comments I've seen, uh, the book is worse about that. So they so they already did trim down a big, a decent chunk. <sighs> Maybe they should have taken Mr. Snip Snip a little... A little more, uh vigorously to it. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, I... Eh. Eh, I say. Um, but uh, all in all, I, I think this episode has definitely got me in. Like, I was I was already, like, on board with the show beforehand because I really like the concept of the Abyss, and while I do think they were wasting time, at the very least, despite the fact the pacing was rather poor... The content was interesting enough that I was I was good, you know. Like it's just it's just like hey, the pacing. Yeah. Um, this episode though, as a as a as a as an, like a standalone kind of thing, um, I do like it quite a bit. It's a little bit light on content, but it's works really well as a character building exercise for the characters we're actually going to spend time with, as opposed to the previous episodes where. They spent so much time on literally everyone else. Um, so while, uh, while it does once it is once again the, this episode making up for the previous episode's flaws, it is stuff that was needed and it's stuff that works really well because it is Rico and Reg more or less in their element instead of being stuck in an orphanage. Um, I. I mean, the, the Star Compass thing was a little weird. I wonder if it's going to come back, because it does feature pretty heavily in the opening, or if it's just going to be one of those things where it's like, aha, she lost it. It's a symbolism for her. Ha 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 ha. Um, or if it's just going to be, you know, if it's going to come back to them at some point. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was a cool character-building moment. Um, Seeing, like, the first two layers of the Abyss is pretty neat, especially since I imagine they're going to go by pretty fast, because it's probably the least interesting uh, sections of the Abyss. But still, they looked pretty neat. They looked pretty nice. The big butthole forest was at least fun to look at. And the send-off from Habo was pretty cool. Like, it shows that 
despite the fact that, you know, she's got people rooting, she's, despite the fact that this is a really dumb thing she's doing, um, she's got people rooting for her, people that support her, and, you know, she's, even though she's never gonna see them again, most likely, they're, they're there for her, and that's, and that's good. You know, like, Leader is there, Habo is there, Shiggy and Nat are there, like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's pretty heartwarming, it's pretty cool, I, I, I like that. Um, there, there are some, like, weird hang-ups I have as far as, like, the art is concerned. Um, a, a lot of the monsters are be, are being put in, like, this weird outlineless watercolor kind of thing, and it clashes pretty badly with, like, everything around it. Um, and I don't know if I like it or not. Like, it's... Hang on, I'm gonna, like, scroll through here. Yeah, like, the spider to a lesser degree than the weird bird thing, but... It's weird, because everything around the spider is drawn the same way as regular characters, but everything to do with the spider is, like, weird and fuzzy, and I don't... I don't get what they're trying to do there. And also, like, when Nat's arm touches it... Nat's arm... Uh, not Nat. Reg's arm. When Reg's arm touches it, it takes on that same quality, so... That's very weird, and I don't quite understand what they're trying to get across. Is it... Is, is the, I mean, it's very clear that these things are CG. Very, very clear that these things are CG. So, like, so I, I like, I, the reason I didn't go CG re when they showed up is because I want to talk about here. But, like, are they trying to disguise the fact that it's CG by making it all weird and blurry? Because I don't, I don't know if I like that. I don't, I don't think I like that. That's very weird. Like, why bother? You know, like, did they only have access to, to bad CG and, like, just go, like, okay, slap an After Effects filter over it and no one will notice? Like, it's, 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 it's a really weird, like, that, that's a really weird, like, thing. And I don't quite understand, like, what the point of it is. Like, it makes them look a little otherworldly and foreign and, and weird. It makes them look alien. But not in a way that's natural, like, you know, like... <sighs> I mean, and especially since, like, if anything, these things should look the most natural in these places, because this is their home. Technically, Reg and... Reg and Rico are, are the invaders, so what's the point of that? I don't get it. <laughs> like... I mean, I don't know. Maybe they didn't have the budget to draw, like, to draw horrible freaky monsters, so they had to settle for CG, but... I don't know, this weird filter thing. I I don't know if there's an artistic reason behind it, or if it's just a thing that they decided they wanted to do. I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know down there in the comments. Like, if there's, like, a... Like a, like a, like a, I don't know, commentary track or interview that was done about this show. I, I don't know. Or if it looked like that in the manga or light novel or whatever the heck this is from. Let me know. But I think that's really all I gotta say. Overall, this episode was good. It was a, a, a it was a good bit of character building for our protagonists. It got them down in the hole. And it got us a little bit of stuff in the background. So, good. Big em thumbs up on that one. Um... But yeah, so that's really all I got to say. So let me know what you think of this down there in the comments, whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out, because that's a thing that happens sometimes, oh boy. And uh, if you want, you can always support, uh, you remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share social media, tell you tell your friends. Yeah, you, um, um, your friends with knowledge. And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description and on the end card along with this of all people to keep the show up and running. And if you really want, uh, yeah, if you really want, and, uh, oh boy, I'm, I'm all over the place right now, aren't I? Ah, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking about what's gonna come next. Ah, it's, it's so good. Um, but, yeah, uh, if you're looking for more of my stuff, uh, you know, I've got my Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play, that's really good. I haven't really run into that many bugs, so if you're looking for a bug-free asterisk uh, playthrough, then that's there. 
Um, we did, we're doing cells at work tomorrow, so that's gonna be good. And if recording schedules line up properly this week, then we're gonna have a German candy unboxing, uh, that came out, uh, yesterday, on Wednesday. So keep an eye out for that as well. I got a bunch of stuff. Oh boy, and there should be a stream today, like, not long after this, so keep an eye out. I got a bunch of stuff for you. But, yeah. so as always, everybody, I am Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a round.